with their Europa League fate to be decided either side of this game, Marseille were looking for a confidence booster of maintaining their 100% start to the season against visitors Angers. Rudy Garcia's men were far from convincing in Slovenia against Dom Zal, but the 1-1 draw means they have an away goal and they've won six and drawn one of the last seven in the velodrome in all competitions. But Angers would be no pushovers, four points from their opening two weekends and having won their past two away days in the top flight, Stéphane Moulin's 2017 French finalists arrived with belief. Marseille though have not lost since Ligue 1 Conferama thrashing at the hands of PSG in week 27 last term and they set about getting at Sko from the off and that paid off after 17 minutes. Great improvisation from Clinton and G brilliantly flicking the ball over the defender's head before prodding beyond Alexander Letelier. Morgan Sanson charging down the right before firing across the penalty area. Lucas Campos touching it to NG and the Cameroon striker doing the rest. His third in three after a brace against Dijon on the opening match day. Well, Enzo Crivelli arrived at Angers from Bordeaux after spending a lone period with Bastia last season. He scored the 2-0 win against Amiens but couldn't find a way past Steve Montonda. A Florian Tovan brace and Remy Cabela goal a secured OM a 3-0 win against Angers here last season but this time they only had a slender halftime lead to protect. Dimitri Paye watching from the stands a hamstring injury keeping him out of action. Well, Garcia would have been furious as Marseille failed to add to their lead and they struggled to keep their shape. Angers taking full advantage. Carl Toko Ikambe cutting in from the right and a stunning curling left foot effort, leaving Mondonda stretching at thin air. Ikambe managing seven goals last season. On match day three, opening his account with a memorable strike at the velodrome. Well, Marseille stunned, but it could have been even worse if not for Mondonda, saving from Roman Toma, who got his head on the end of Thomas Mangani's perfectly delivered free kick. OM though finished with 10 men as Lucas Ocampo stretched for the ball, but caught Thomas. And referee Jerome Miguel Gori reached for his top pocket. And it was red for the Argentinian. The studs on the defender seeing him take an early bath. The final whistle meaning both sides remain unbeaten, but Moulin will be the happier of the coaches as Garcia looks back at a match OM let get away.